If you do Sambo and Judo, you have to know this throw, over the head throw. It's our gym's signature. We all threw with it, all throw with it, and will throw with it. Let me share my secrets, how to do it correctly. So sometimes partner stands in two ways, either straight or bent. When he's bent, the ideal throw is over the head throw. What's the problem many people have? Often when they win, they started to run, bent over and be passive. And that's an ideal version, that's an ideal stance to throw somebody over your head. So as you saw in an example, Roman Ganchuk's partner was running away, he was already celebrating his Olympic win, Olympic silver medal. And how it happened? Most importantly, in order to throw your partner or control him, you want to have your leg between his legs. So that's our stances. Clear, right? The second leg comes right next to your other leg. And you see, I'm already falling. It's good. As I put my feet together, nobody will hold you. And next leg gets elevated and between his legs. You can go knee on the inside or knee to the outside. But most important thing is that your instep gets right between his legs and kick him out, kick him over. Let me show you. One more time from a different grip. Control, leg comes in and we throw. So we got the legs down, clear. So don't throw him on top of you, but in a circular fashion, laterally if you will. What do we do with our hands and arms? You can grab anywhere. Most importantly that you have the pulling action with your arms. You can get this grip, that grip or that grip in the armpit, the belt, back, by the elbow. Most importantly, that you can pull with that arm. In order to have a good pull, make sure that you drop your elbow down. So when we throw him, elbow comes down and pull. Do not pull him over yourself, like this. Like, like a pistol squat type of deal. And you get caught being pinned. In order not to have it happen, make sure that you spin him like such, like this. It's like we're dancing. And in this moment, I apply leg action. You got it, right? Elbow down, spin, leg in. Another important moment. As you're getting done, you understand it's a sacrifice throw, you fall down. And in order to hold him down, you gotta chase him immediately. We don't throw like this. Because sometimes he will get on top and pin you. That's why you always chase him, you always trail behind and finish with a pin, with a hold down, like that. It's very important, it's necessary. In the beginning of the video, you saw Roman Gnatyuk became a legend of Ukrainian Judo. It was a semi-final, which he was losing, and three seconds before the end, he applied over the head throw and became a finalist. Roma is a merited master of sport and Judo, three-time Olympian, silver and bronze medalist in Olympics in Judo. In 2004, we had some mega monsters in our team in Judo. Quite a few guys. And coaches thought that they will win. They were prognosed to win. So everybody was bad, everybody was thought to be a winner except for Roman. He was only 20. He's good, yeah. But right now he's just figuring things out. And maybe next Olympic Games he'll do better. But everybody lost except Roma. He became a silver medalist. That's a history not about three-second win. It's about 
that you have to believe in yourself always. If somebody tells you, you cannot do it, or if you're too young, or maybe it's not your sport, always smile at him, in your head tell him to go with the sun, don't shine, and tell yourself, I can, I will achieve it. And here's the example. The guy who nobody was believing in, except for him and his coach, he became double Olympic medalist. If you like it, if you like my over the head throw, thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, everybody.